Over the years, I have spent thousands of hours trawling through local fish shops and scouring the internet to find the most striking centerpiece fish in the saltwater hobby. So today, I'm gonna to share with you what I consider to be the best centerpiece fish for your tank, no matter what the size. And if it's your first time here and you want to be friends, oh friend, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out when I upload. Now in the first category of sub 100 liters or 25 gallons, we are a little restricted by space, so there aren't many options. But you might be able to get away with some of the fish in the next category, certainly in the short to medium term, i.e. for a couple of years. However, in my opinion, the two best choices for small tanks are firstly the hell freaky firefish. Now they can be a little bit timid and spend time hiding in the rock work, but they're more likely to be out and about in a small tank where there aren't many other tank mates. And you won't find another fish with such beautiful soft purple colors. They're completely peaceful and easy to keep. The only downside is that they are pretty expensive, but if you have the budget, there is no better centerpiece fish for a small tank, in my opinion. But if you don't want a hell freaky firefish, the other centerpiece fish I would recommend is a fancy clownfish. Now standard Pecula or Ocellaris clowns, or Nemo if you really must, are absolutely gorgeous fish, but if you want something a little bit different and a little bit more showy, there are endless numbers of color morphs that look absolutely gorgeous. My personal favorites are the Black Storms, which used to be extremely expensive and are now down to being only very expensive, and my own personal fancy clowns, the Da Vinci clownfish. But most local fish shops will have a wide variety of clownfish and there will be something to suit every taste. So have a look around and see what takes your fancy. Moving up to the one to 200 litre or 25 to 50 gallon tank and we have a few more options. Starting with the Flame Hawk, which is one of my personal favorite fish. For a start, they are strikingly bright red, which is not a color you come across very often in the hobby. And then they have a little bandit mask over their eyes that gives them a real mischievous look and couple that with the fact that they have no swim bladder, so have to rest on rocks and corals all day, and you've got a real character of a fish that will spend as much time watching you as you will him. Now they do have a reputation for eating some small ornamental shrimp, but in my experience they're good as gold, and this guy hasn't touched anything in the four years I've had him. My next suggestion is the Midas Blenny, and Blennies are another absolutely amazing characterful fish who swim in and out of caves all day long, and are guaranteed to keep you entertained. While blennies can spend a lot of their time in the rock work hiding away, Midas blennies are a much more sociable fish and will always be out and about swimming with your other fish, trying to make friends. And like with most blennies, they are dead easy to keep and as a Brucey bonus with the Midas, they are dirt cheap to buy. If you want something a little more unique, my next recommendation would be the Splendid Dotty Back. The Splendid Dotty Back will stay small and has striking blue and yellow fins, as well as a nice little pattern on his body. Now, if you have a more mature tank and you fancy a bit more of a challenge, my next recommendation would be a Dragonette. My personal preferences are the Mandarin Dragonette and the Scarlet Dragonette. They have colors that you will not see anywhere else in the hobby, and they scoot around the tank all day with this really funny, unique swimming pattern. However, they are very unlikely to eat frozen food, which is why you need an established tank, ideally with a refugium where copepods can breed to keep these guys happy. And that segues nicely onto my final choice, the candy pipefish. Candy pipefish are a member of the seahorse family and are another tricky fish to keep. They reportedly don't do well in strong flow, but the flow most people have in a mixed reef is probably just fine for them. They are considered expert only, and they have tiny mouths, so will only accept small portions of food. So they are another fish that is probably best kept if you have a nice supply of live food coming from your refugium. But if you can meet their care needs, they are the most awesome looking and brightly colored of the pipefish family, and I would absolutely love a pair in my tank. Next up, we're gonna take a look at tanks between two and 400 liters, or 50 and 100 gallons, which are generally pretty good sizes and really open up the choices. For a tank, I would choose a whitetail cold tank. Now there aren't many fish with bright white fins and these guys really stand out against their burgundy body with nice little spotted patterns. They're also not as aggressive as many tanks, so they won't bother your other tank mates as much. And of course, being a tank, they spend their entire day munching on algae, which I'm sure we can all get on board with. If you're feeling a little bit more brave though, I would recommend a flame angelfish. By reputation, they are one of the more reef safe angelfish, but it's probably still a bit of a coin toss, so do be prepared to catch him and take him out if he goes rogue. But it's another absolutely beautiful fish that would make a centerpiece for any tank, 
And he wins out over similar dwarf angelfish like the insanely finicky multibar angel, the insanely expensive tiger pygy, and the insanely bright and beautiful lemon peel angel who is much more likely to eat your corals. And finally, for tanks of this size, I'm going to recommend wrasses. Now, there are so many fantastic wrasses that I can't round it down to just one or two. For the showy exuberance, I would recommend something like a McCoskers Flasher Rass or an Aoko Rass. They dance around in the middle of the water all day long, showing off their fins, which is quite a sight. And my Aoko Rass was the one fish I got asked about more than any other in my tank. The Potter's Rass misses out because he comes from Hawaii and therefore they aren't available anymore. But if you ever find one on a forum from another hobbyist, snap him up because he is absolutely gorgeous. There is of course the insanely bright yellow wrasse, and if you want something a little more left field, check out the earmuff wrasse for some absolutely beautiful colours and some pretty cool little head markings. And now we come to the big boy tanks of 400 litres or 100 gallons plus, which is where options really open up. But I've tried to narrow it down to only the very best, so here goes. First up is the copper banded butterfly, which is probably the most gorgeous fish in the entire hobby. Nothing matches its copper stripes, and that laterally compressed body just looks absolutely magnificent. The downside of these guys is of course that they are very difficult to get eating, and will take a lot of care from you in the first place, and mean you have to chuck in endless amounts of food to get them started. But the good news is, if you don't fancy the challenge of a copper band, the Gold Flake Angel is a much easier fish to keep, and is absolutely the most striking fish on this list, in my opinion. There are plenty of yellow fish in the hobby, but none have beautiful colourings anything like this, and if you can put up with them pecking at your corals from time to time, you will spend hours every evening looking at this beautiful fish. On this list, the Gold Flake narrowly edged out the Regal Angel, which is a little more tricky to keep, and the Cortez Angel, which looks spectacular when they're young, but fade into slightly more boring colours when they're old. But finally, on the point of angelfish, for the biggest tanks, I would recommend an Ember Angelfish. Like many fish, they have completely different colourings when they are young and old, but unlike most fish, both juvenile and senior colours are absolutely amazing. Now, being an angelfish, they are a risk with corals, but you see plenty of people keeping them successfully in SPS tanks, and once you have a big collection of corals, they're less likely to bother an individual colony, to the point that it causes real problems. In terms of tangs, the classic yellow and purple tangs are my personal favourites because they are just so brightly coloured. Now, if this list was just about beautiful fish, the Achilles and the Powder Blue Tang would be right up there. But both of those are absolute white spot magnets and they tend to be more aggressive, particularly the Achilles. So in my opinion, they are best off left to only the most experienced reef keepers. And if I was only looking at beauty, I would have a clown trigger on this list, but they are just far too aggressive by reputation, so I'm afraid they miss out. Now this video is of course only intended as inspiration, not a full care guide, so make sure you do your research before you buy. And if there are fish that I've missed that you think make great centerpieces, let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.